Just yeah, I'm, I've obviously been with Becca and she loves. Yeah, Will, I'm inside. Well, I, I've always done it. Well, I've done it when I was a kid. Um, so I think that's part mainly for that reason. But also, when we first landed, we didn't have anywhere to land in Dawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have a, sh a shelter at we all. We didn't have anything. We just landed like, on a, in a field. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's, I just find it better. Yeah. For us, it we, works better. We've got that better. far now, but. I don't know, it's not the best barn, and I'd rather them be outside cleaner. And yeah, and I think it's, it is, because we start, well, I mean, we started lambing at the end of December, so we're obviously up north way earlier, and our ewes won't, and lambs won't be as hardy as these. We have some, uh, we put a Beltex tub on them, for example, so if they land outside in December, January, yeah. not going to yeah, work. No, no, no. Whereas I think it's so important to know what you've got in here, a lot more hardier, yeah. yep. we'll stand lambing outside, we'll be a lot better yep. mothers yeah. to get the lamb up and going. It's cheaper as well, it's harder work, but it's cheaper lambing yeah. outside because you ain't got all the costs, because we'd have to buy everything in, yeah. hay, straw, yeah. do you know what I mean? The whole lot. Gates. And, and it's cheaper to do it this way. So. Also, I think for us, um, where it's just the two of us with the ewes, mm -hmm. we don't, like after it gets dark, unless we're worried about a ewe, we wouldn't check her. Yeah. So we sleep at yeah. night. If we lambed indoors, we'd probably have to get someone to help us with night yes. lambing, yeah. which paying some, because we yeah. couldn't do that, the two of us, no. could we? No, and that, that's the other thing we found in it, just when it's dark, we go to bed, and then we near function in the next day. Yeah. Whereas yep. if like, I've been pulling a few all nighters doing pop shooting, and I'm not right the next day, and it's all on Zoe, and it just makes you make a few more mistakes. And that, yeah. that's why I, I panic about the mistakes quite a lot. Yeah. Yep. You're, you're better off spending you know, going to bed and having a few hours good sleep. Because they don't do We do sleep night, well as well. Yeah. Like, we are out of it once we get in there. I think that is an important note. Like, when even when we were lambing inside, we'd try and switch the light off, leave a tiny yeah. lambing light on, and almost leave the sheep to sleep as well. Because if you are round them, and obviously there's some systems where it's needed, but if you're around them, 24 hours a day yeah. when do they actually get their chance to to sleep properly without kind of you wandering through them and whatever so yeah. i guess every system's different which is i think what there's, there's a different way like there's so many different ways to do farms isn't there and um you just gotta find it, what works it, for it you works for yeah. us and, and and you know it, we go out early first thing and we do quick checks and you might find one that's stuck but she's never been stuck for hours and hours mm -hmm. um, and okay we might touch the wood chris lamb, touch wood know. <laughs> we, land, but we, we really don't, you know, they do tend to do it dawn, yep. dusk, yeah. that's yep. when they... We've had platoons about 11 foxes in seven days. Right. And, and they just, because you see how close we are to town, yep. they, we are absolutely swamped with yes. foxes and they, they just kill them. You can get five or six lambs lost a night. Like. But I didn't understand that, being kind of mm. not in farming. Yeah. Neither did I before. It's like, oh my gosh, you're killing, you know, like an animal, you're killing yeah. a fox, as in yeah. hunting yeah. them. And you think, is it like a sport? But no, no. you've got to protect. Yeah. Your, yeah. Like, yeah there's your different. There's hunt. different, isn't there? There's the hunt, which is yeah. sport. Oh yeah, we're not. Ish. We're not doing it. For this sport. is more like. You've got to protect. Yeah. yeah. And, and to they, be honest, yeah. they always draw the first blood. Like yeah. we don't do no. anything. And we leave them all year. Yeah. We lose a lamb, and then I go out hard on them for three or four yeah. nights. And it won't be all of them. Like we've been watching them, and they like hunting mice and stuff. Yeah. But then you get the ones that go around the sheep checking the lambs. Yeah. yeah. Say about the other like, day with that. Yeah, there was one going round them. They've got like, a thermal go thing. And yeah, so we can watch them on the thermal in the dark, yeah. and they'll go up to her. And if she don't get up, they'll, they'll honestly like reach over the back of her like that, and then she get up and fight them off, and then they go to the next one. Yeah. And they work them like, and they're, they're unreal. And when, I think when they kill, they're killing machines. They're amazing yeah. creatures. It's amazing. and the thing is, it's they they get a taste for it and they'll keep coming yeah. back because it's a certain food source. Yeah. So if they they just have to be a bit cheeky and they've got it. But I think the problem is if they've got one lamb. Yeah they can do a really quite a good job of protecting that. The second they get two, the foxes are so sneaky, yep. they'll split them off. And that, that lamb, obviously, you've got it through pregnancy, yeah. you've got yeah. it through birth. It's it had yeah. it's yeah. had yeah. its colostrum, it's sucking, yeah. it's up. And that, you've got to see that, well, it's a through to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the yeah, day, we're, it's your yeah. our, our fat lambs the other week were 120, an average 122 pounds. Yeah. And we could lose five or six to a fox in one night. 
So you start adding them up. Yeah. Scary. Then, yeah, it's scary. And not you only that, you... that. No. Unless you're in it. No, no, no. no, no. no. So like the, the people that live all along that road, they all feed the foxes in their garden. And on like the community group on Facebook, I always see it. Oh, I saw the beautiful one with the black tail. I saw the beautiful <laughs> one with the black tail. And I was thinking, shit, Chris is going to shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's a real... They, yeah. It's like almost a craze of people feeding them now, yeah. and I, I like, like you say, it's not a sport. I don't enjoy it. Like no. when we've been lambing for sixteen hours, I don't want to then come out in the freezing cold at night no. and shoot foxes. Like I don't want to. Like yeah. I just want to mm -hmm. go to bed and leave my sheep. But at the end of the day, your sheep rely on you. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... And we have a duty of care, and, and and they're fine over for after two or three days old. Yeah, but yeah. Just yeah. in the next few weeks, we just don't do foxes. Yeah. And, and then, as I say, look, like, we the whole rest of the year, you don't go no, out don't do shooting and, at all. And we the don't whole... shoot any rabbits. We don't shoot pigeons. Their food source is completely left alone. So like, there are other things to eat. Yeah, so, yeah. that's <laughs> yeah. what annoys don't eat me. My lambs, you yes. know? And, and they can eat afterbirths and lamb poos and crap, yeah. whatever they want. Yeah. Mice, Tails. we don't touch anything. But they, when they start eating the lambs, you have yeah. to do otherwise they will. And that's what annoys me because there's a, a huge field over the road and there's so many rabbits in there. Yeah. So they like could them. they could do whatever they want over yeah. there. And I just think, just go over there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. But and, yeah, and that's a real only, problem. We shoot on the lambing fields. Like the rest of the farm's all fruit farm. We don't go anywhere near it. Yeah. So if, if they just protecting your area. Yeah, it's just ours. Yeah. Just yeah. ours. That's it. And so these lambs that we can see here, yeah. these were born when? This morning. This, this morning. morning. So actually, they are so settled, aren't they? they they've yeah. clearly got full tummies, otherwise they'd be they'd be blurting. So they're, and did she lamb them herself? Yep. Just yep. pop them out? Yeah, yep. yeah. You check them in the morning, do you come out, check yeah. them? Yeah. First like, light. Assistance so yeah, thing. first light, we come round, we usually split up and yeah. do fields each. And then any that are up, they're up um, and they've been born. Um, and so we kind of do a tally in our head of where they are. And then we come back round together yeah. and spray, spray all the new cords. cords. Yeah. Right. Because there's no point wasting, like me coming and spraying their cords when there could be one stuck over there. So you yeah. just need to get round that everyone's... And when you say, like, if I ask a no, question, no. if I spray in the cords, do you mean the like... With, I, yeah, the, yeah, the umbilical, umbilical cord, cord. Yeah. yeah. The yellow spray that you use, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm yeah it's the, do the dodgy it. tan, yeah. that's what that is. You don't want all the disease and stuff going yeah. into it, yeah. So a lot of people that lamb outdoors won't spray the cords because we lamb quite a yeah, large we, number we, we, on yeah, quite a small it. area. Yeah. Um, like the disease and bacteria can run rife, so we just spray everything as like a... And then you're covered. Yeah, we just yeah, always so we have, it, yeah. always do. But yeah, let's just find a nice spot under a tree. It's dry. Well, that is the thing. It's a very sheltered yeah. spot. And actually, it's amazing because we, we could go outside at home. We don't have trees like this at all. But we go outside and think, oh, my gosh, is it a bit cold for them to be outside? They're all tucked over a hill. They're all behind, you know, in the hedge bottom. And they're not stupid. They know no, where no, to no, sit, no, so they're sheltered. I mean, the trees are a help and a hindrance, to be honest with you. Sometimes they're good. They're good for stuff like this. Definitely, but when you're but trying when to you're do try the or when yeah. you're trying to catch a sheep because yeah. she needs a hand and you're She's just tripping around. over roots and yeah. stuff, it is not ideal. But I was going to ask that: How would you go about catching a sheep if it was outside, needed assistance? Obviously, I mean, even if there's one in in our shed, I'm like, oh gosh, this could this could be a bit of a chase we've to get got, it. He's really good at tackling, yeah. Yeah. and we've got a crook with like a hook on the end wow. that clips on their back leg that we use a lot. Yeah, and, and if they're really stuck and need help, they. They yeah, they're not as fast. Take a lot yeah. Of catching, like, yeah. You know. And if she is fast, I'm like, Chris, can you come and help me, please? And then sometimes we use the dog, and the dog just sort of makes them stop, and it's yeah. hard for me to jump on them. You know what I mean? Yeah, she <laughs> doesn't do like like pin them like a sheep dog, no. but she'll hold it in a corner, yeah. so yeah. we've got better chance. Yeah. yeah. So we basically just do this all day, just walk round and and check like every half hour, yeah, every like hour. Dog, hour. Under that well. Oh, I like this type Aww. of sheep. I mean, I've never, I've not seen one. Cat. This one that's looking at us right now. The teddy bear uh, uh, that has a fringe. Like, literally like a teddy bear. I love yeah. it. It's not like the ones that I don't like that you have. Yeah. yeah it's not a very good uh, example of the South Down, in all fairness. But, um, really, like, I, I just think they're beautiful. Whereas the ones you've got back, the, oh, the what have you got? got? The, the Doctor, the, the yeah. Doctor Who the sheep. Yeah. The Doctor Who sheep. What's the yeah. Doctor Who the, sheep? Yeah. And the Beltex. Oh, oh yeah. 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 We've used the uh, Beltex cup on our ewe lamb. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm happy with them. As um, a, we, how many have we had at the Beltex? Uh, we've had a few. A few. It's a good time, like, because we're doing the the shop now. Um, when we get to sort of February, March, all our lambs start getting a bit big. Yeah. And it sounds stupid, but when you start 
getting a carcass back that weighs 30 kilos or 28, 30 kilos, legs to lamb on them are absolutely huge. Yep, too big. And what it does is it sort of makes a 20 kilo lamb look a bit small. Yes. So we're trying to sort of like make sure that people are getting like a fairly even thing when they order from us. We don't want someone getting a, a leg that weighs three kilos and then yep. getting a leg that weighs two kilos. Yes, because like, it could be like two, three summer. months yeah. later, couldn't it? Even though a 20 kilo lamb's like a good size lamb. Yeah. So the Beltex help because in sort of January, February, then they don't get huge. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they don't yeah. get 50 kilos. But the legs are good on, yeah, on yeah. Beltex. Yeah, they're still good. I think it's been great. Um, I it's, I love them. Yeah, it's so interesting to see a different si si system yeah. to how we lamb at home. Their reasonings for lambing outside, yeah. I think, completely fit their system and it shows why there is a difference, really. But what I really like is that I'm learning new breeds. Again, there is just so many types of sheep. I can't keep up, but I've got a new favourite, which is the teddy bear sheep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm very, very I swear somebody that. mentioned that last night. Did they? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, really, really interesting. And it'll be good to kind of have a look um, at their goats. Yeah. Because they've got goats as well. And and cattle as well, if we get a chance. And hopefully. See a lamb. See a lamb. Lambing. No, wait. Are you lambing? Are you lambing? <laughs> <On it. laughs>